Hey everyone, Fred Guy here, welcome to another video. And today we're going through my masculine fragrances in my collection. Now I'm going to do two videos. This one is going to be my uh, classics. So anything that's sort of 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, the, the, I'm going to do a modern list, which is sort of 90s and onwards. Uh, there's 10 in that list, I think there's 9 in this one. Hence why I haven't put it as a top 10, because this is the only uh, ones I've actually got in my collection of right now. I'm um, looking to purchase some more in the new year. Um, a couple of uh, Jack Bogarts, there's one Signature. Um, looking at, um, there's a Lamani Pour On, I think it's called. Um, there's, so there's, there's a couple that I want to try um, yeah, from the sort of 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, but I haven't got them right now. So. I picked out the, what I would consider the most masculine ones, um, you know, nine in this list, like I said. Uh, and again, these are from the sort of 60s, 70s, and 80s, and then I'm leaving the 90s onwards for the other video. So there's a mix here. I think they're pretty much all designers, well, apart from one, which is sort of a standalone British house. Uh, and I think the rest are designer. Um, when it comes to the other list, again, mostly designer with a couple of, well there's one niche and sort of one independent slash designer, some people call them. Uh, so let's get on with the list. And so we're going to start off with the British house, the, um, the standalone house. Uh, what would you call it niche? Maybe, probably. Uh, and this one is Floris, number 89. And in the book of James Bond, said to be his signature scent. So, this one, if you don't know, is basically a really... Uh, it's a barbershop scent. It's got a pedriness to it, but there's... Um, it's woody, it's green, it's herbal. Uh, all combined into this slightly powdery uh, barbershop style scent. Real nice, very gentleman-like and uh, definitely uh, out many many years ago uh, but one of my favorite classics that there is i've only got this small 50 mil at the moment and it's half empty so i may in the future buy another big up probably get a bigger one uh, 100 mils but real nice if you like the barbershop style fragrances and you, and you like um, old school fragrances now this one doesn't really have that really dark dirtiness that a lot of um uh, classics have this one is more sort of in between it's not over fresh and clean but it's not it's totally dirty with a dirty vetiver or old moss things like that sort of in between nice gentleman's um suited up kind of scent so first one floris number 89 now next when this juice was sort of first introduced it did have a dominant urinal puck slightly pissy uh, sent to it. Modern juice that you buy now, they've really toned that down. It's it's almost not there. It's a little bit urinal pucky where, when you first spray it, but it soon goes away. And this one is Hugo Boss number one. They have changed the packaging on this. Uh, it looks a little similar, but then they've, they've just cleaned that and there's like a sticker on it, and that's about it. Um, it's not got these lines on it anymore, like a like a gentleman's suit. They're very modern, clean looking the bottles now. I don't know if, if it's been reformulated since uh, this type of bottle, uh, but if you can get this one, um, but do so. But uh, yeah, real nice this one. It, again, classy gentleman scent. It's, it has, like I said, toned down that um, urinal pucky vibe. It's still a little bit there at the opening, um, but not much. In fact, the, the way they've toned it down, I think, actually suits um, the, the, the juice as it is in this bottle at least uh, and um, again really enjoy this one a uh, true classic from Hugo Boss and I believe was it their first gentleman's scent I think it was uh, and uh, yeah see the colour of the juice proper classic so uh, Hugo Boss number one next on the list uh, this one from Bojan and it can only be Bojan uh, I think they call it Polo or just, just men Bojan men looks a little bit sort of sexual um, a bit like a 
gentleman's ring, if you will. Uh, not the behind, I mean some of that you would put on the, the front, if you know what I mean. Um, put this cap on, takes that away a little bit. I don't like the cap so much. I don't know, just doesn't quite suit it. I store it like that. Uh, it's like a donut. Uh, this one, I would say dominant on the patchouli, but the patchouli here isn't a scratchy. It's actually smooth. And it's that kind of patchouli, if you ever come across it, that gives off a slight chocolatey vibe. It's very nice, very classy, you know, very, and very classic as well. Um, you got like a, a chocolatey patchouli, uh, but don't worry, it's not scratchy uh, and in your face. It's got a nice, smooth, chocolatey feel to it. Real nice, there's other things in this as well, but that's what, uh, what dominates really. Uh, so, boy, Jean Man. Okay, next, this one, although this one mixes amber florals. Uh, and sort of, so what should we say here? Ambo floors, woody, yeah, um, and a little bit of sort of citrusy to off the top. Uh, very, very masculine. Um, similar to Van Cleef and Arpels pour on, but a sort of more wearable version. Uh, a little lighter. Uh, this one. Uh, there you go. Hello. Um, this one, the classic version of uh, Givenchy's Zerius. And I've got one with the notes on the side there. Okay, this is a classic bottle, roughly half full. Um, the big bottle. Uh, this one, as you can see, yeah, very cheesy top. Well, I, I absolutely love it. You know, gold spray. I love things like that. I don't know, just something about it. Um, like I said, this one is um, floral. Well, it's it's more amber. Uh, a little bit of floral, those sort of manly floral musks. Um, so it's an ambery scent, a little bit of manly florals, musks, uh, and this, it's got a slight sort of incensey vibe, but not really, it's more of like a towards ambery type of scent. Uh, very nice, definitely old school masculine. So uh, Givenchy Zerus. The recent pickup for me next, this one, um, I really enjoy it. Uh, this one from Oscar de la Renta, and it is Paul Louis. And this one uh, gives me that sort of classic vetiver out moss on vibe, but cleaned up with um, what I would, would say was herbals. So, a rather herbal scent on my skin. With a little backbone of that classic vetiver oak, oak, oak moss mix. Very nice, very wearable classic. Definitely not one of those that's like really heavy uh, and drags you down and not too like, smoky or anything like that. Uh, very, very wearable uh, classic. And if you like uh, a nice, punchy, sort of almost bittery um, herbal notes, uh, then this one yeah, is a good one. Uh, and I've been enjoying this one a fair bit of late, so Oscar de Laurenta, Paul Louis. Okay, next a sort of leathery scent. Now I'm not a big fan of leathers, um, but this one uh, does it really pretty well. And this one is Versace uh, Lum, or a toilette. Uh, this one, again, uh, a, a smooth leathery scent backed up with like a patchouli. The patchouli in this is a little harsher than the than last uh, fragrance. Uh, it's definitely got that slight um, boitiness to it, uh, but it's it's toned down in this. You get it's more about this sort of um, smooth suede leather, uh, and uh, that 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 oak. Uh, you got that the general sort of sort of uh, oak moss vetiver sort of thing going on, um, but more about the the suede leather and uh, that patchouli is pretty much what it what it is a dominant notes in this. Um, definitely the nice one, a lot of um, their dad's signature scents back in the day uh, when this came out. So Versace uh, Lum. Now this one, when you say masculine, most people think, yeah, it's straight away this one and you can, you can understand why, especially when you first spray it. Uh, this one, Aramis by Aramis. I think again their first scent for men, possibly. Uh, this one, straight into um, it's about like citrusy woods and that sharp uh, patchouli uh, hitting you in the face. Does calm down a little bit, 
and go nice and uh, smooth ascent after an hour or two. Uh, this one is extremely strong, this is like a true powerhouse. Even today's juice is pretty damn strong. Uh, and I believe it is only eau de toilette, yeah, uh, eau de toilette. It's about as, probably about as masculine as you, you really get in this list. Um, maybe one other. Uh, but a great scent, don't weigh that much. Uh, but uh, when I'm in the mood for it, uh, I do wear it by after I only put one or two sprays on. Because any more than that, yeah, I don't know if something happens to it on my skin. It doesn't quite smell right. But one or two fragrances, uh, one or two fragrances, one or two uh, sprays of this, and it tends to be the less is better with this one. And it smooths out in the air, and it becomes something really, really nice on my skin. But again, any more than that, it becomes a very um, sharp. Uh, patchouli better very heavy uh, and doesn't quite work on my skin and uh, very spicy uh, if I've done but a couple of sprays uh, it's a nice beautiful scent in the air so Aramis by Aramis okay next up is one of my favorite uh, barbershop style scents from Pacaraban and of course it's Pacaraban uh this one if you like a again barbershop style scent it's got a little more touch of a, it's, so it's a little powdery, little touch of a sweetness in here from the, there is like a honey in here, but it, it's just more, it doesn't, I don't really smell honey, it's just that it has a little like, sprinkle of sweetness. Um, so it's got lots of green notes, uh, herbals, um, you, you know it's got a little bit of a citrus top, uh, a little powdery, uh, a little sweetness as I said, uh, but uh, if you like a, a good sort of slightly powdery barbershop dad scent um, then this is a good one to try if you've never tried it um, and, a, and a true classic in my opinion so uh, Paco Rabanne Pour Homme and it wouldn't be a list without this next one and last one uh, this one is just yeah, an amazing true classic fragrance uh, and this one is Ted Lapidus Pour Homme Again, as masculine as you really get, um, but it's not overly dirty, or you know, he hasn't got a dirty vetiver, dirty patchouli. Um, it's all sort of a combined in like a sort of gentleman's way, it's a little smoother um, and blended really well. But there's so many notes in here, it's, 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 I'd be here for a week listing out the notes <laughs> that are said to be in this. Um, it's you know it's a little citrusy, it's a little woody, it's a little smoky, it's it's it's, it's a little everything, to be honest. Uh, but the way they've blended it, it actually comes off really really uh, beautiful. Uh, one of the best cheap classic uh, masculine men's fragrances that you can buy today. Uh, Ted Lapidus Pour Home. So that's it for this list. Uh, let me know what you think of the list. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video any of them in here, you know, any of your favourites, uh, what do you think of the video, whatever it might be, leave a comment below and I'll answer you if I can. So thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate you as always, and I'll see you again soon on the next video, which will be the modern fragrances, masculine side of fragrances. So see you on that video.